Three does on the fence. My grandpa bought this place in 1939. Oh, there's a book. My dad's lived here all of his life. That makes me third generation. My upbringing was like a lot of agriculture upbringings were. Um, I think we, you know, we were held accountable for things that we were supposed to do. I think, you know, really all about making that honest living and working hard for what you have. Helping calve during the spring when it's really cold, uh, helping work cows, help, uh, you know, drive tractor and put up hay and things like that. And then kind of in the, into the hunting space in the fall. Uh, it's really open. Uh, we have just rolling sand hills. But then we also have hardwood river bottoms. It's like whitetail country clashes into mule deer country. We're really familiar with these deer. We keep a pretty close eye on them glassing and just trying to catch those growing bucks that are in velvet. You know, we, we have their patterns down and it's just, it's a big passion of ours and we love it. On the hardwood river bottoms, just like, when you get down there, it's just classic whitetail hunting. Um, hunting from the tree stand most of the time. Doing a lot of the western hunting type things. You know, if you're not looking 500 yards, you're looking two miles and there's always some place to look and something else to do. But when you're sitting in a tree stand, and you can maybe see, you know, 70, 80 yards. And you get to just sit and listen to the birds chirp and listen to the, the wind in the trees and just listen. It's tough sometimes, that's for sure, trying to stay positive when you know, animals aren't moving or it's cold and your, you know, your toes, are, toes are getting cold and you're sick of just sitting in one place for four hours, but you never know when that's, you never know when it's gonna happen. That's a feeling that I can't ever really replicate in my life. It's kind of just when, when I'm hunting and when an animal's coming in, especially one that you want to shoot. But, you know, I was just kind of brought up to no matter the conditions, you need to stay out there until the job's done. On my grandpa's side, uh, his mom came over from Czechoslovakia when she was 16, and she made her way out here by herself. And my dad said she was kind of a mean lady, and she was a really tough lady. We've carried that, the toughness through, because basically your livelihood depends on it. Mm -hmm. 